computer. All right, and then we're, are we? Are we recording? Okay, I guess we are, yeah. Looks like it, you know, who knows? Let me uh, get my earphones here. They make life easier for me. I This camera has been doing glitching, which I don't understand. It may have something to do with uh, with Zoom, but it, uh, it uh, has a tendency to glitch. Oh, boy, we got a lot of people waiting here, so let me admit them all. Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. This is our, our uh, uh, people. And let me also make sure we're going out here as well. Uh, hello to everybody. How are you? Boy, there's quite a few uh, different people there. There's, uh, there's Paula. How are you doing, Paula? Hey. And, and of course, uh, we have our old friend, uh, Andrew Deutsch. And up in Canada, it's Mike Chisholm. And then uh, out there in Texas, it's uh, Charlie Wallace. Uh, Edward Berger. Hello, Edward. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and hello to uh, 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 to uh, uh, Charlene Solis and to Brian Neary and to Marjorie Miller and who knows who else will join us over the next uh, hour. But uh, how are you all? Do you have a nice, uh, nice uh, New Year's? Plan? Yep. Okay. Finally, COVID negative again. And you're COVID negative again? Yeah. Why did you think? Good. Well, why Keep it up. <laughs> why, why did you think you had COVID? Because I took the test and it said I had COVID. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh. yeah. My my wife went to visit the kid down in Florida, came back with it, and then I got it. Minor <laughs> symptoms, but the, vac the vaccine is a miracle. Keeps people <laughs> sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It absolutely is. It you mean the it, you, the Paxlovid or the vaccine? I didn't the vaccine itself. I didn't I didn't take any meds. Oh, okay. I just I just relaxed and didn't have minor symptoms and. Oh wow! Okay. Either I had COVID or the test said I was pregnant, but I think it was COVID. Yeah. Okay. The, the little and, line. And your wife's negative now as well. Oh yeah, she 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 got better. She got it first and got better first. So. Oh okay. Yeah. Did you have any symptoms? Yeah, minor, runny nose, a little tired. Yeah, last time I got it, I actually had symptoms where it was a little trouble sleeping. Yeah. I, yeah. Everything everything I ate turned to crap, but that's a whole other thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, so anyway. Hello to uh, Mandy and hello to Marjorie. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Mandy's at a different angle today. I, I got a new desk. So oh. my stand-up desk thing that I used to have that my monitor sat on and my keyboard sat on went away and now my whole desk right <laughs> yeah. I'll keep going with it <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, so, what yeah, so I really like it because it's now everything's flat you know what I mean oh wait a minute is that is that one of those desks that goes up and down yeah yeah it looks like a drafting table but oh. it's got a little motor under it and it goes up and down and now I just have little stands for my two monitors oh isn't you know, I always use my phone so that I can work while we're talking that's so cute, so cute. <laughs> yeah it's adorable uh, <laughs> uh, interesting definition of adorable Brian are you in your office no no my home oh I see my my last day off from vacation so I gotta go to work tomorrow Oh, okay. So you took a Christmas vacation, did you? Yeah, I took a couple of weeks off. Yeah. Max out in PTO like normal. And so everybody's trying to get back. So I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Well, even though it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, you're taking, you took the week off. Did you still get calls from work? No, 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 no. Usually I do. And I didn't now. So I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not that important anymore. It could be. It could be. <laughs> I just like to point out that Charlie has the worst shirt on that he's had on in a long time. I can't see it. Let's ugly, see it. Ugly. It doesn't mean anything and terrible. Go change it or something. <laughs> I gotta support my cowboys. You got you guys actually I'm, try, I'm trying to support my team, but it's it I don't know what they're doing. Hey, you, been there. I've been but there you, you you text each other, don't you? Oh yeah. 
we were pretty quiet this weekend, but usually, uh, usually there's a few of us that I'm sure this weekend <laughs> we'll be going back and forth. Yeah. 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 So why do you hate, why do you particularly hate the Cowboys? Because I'm an Eagles, Eagles fan. fan. That's, <laughs> you're supposed to. It's uh, yeah. birthright. And we both hate the Commanders, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we both hate the 49ers. <laughs> Where's Len? Oh no, Len today. Oh, uh, yeah. Now wait a minute. What what's the team you're you're backing, Brian? Philadelphia Eagles. How come? Now, yeah, how come? It's oh, right, Paul. How that's come? More, I was thinking that's, the same that's thing. More, that's that's my my home team and and Mortry's home team. But yeah, yeah, how come? Because well, my mom. So when I was young, my mom showed me her yearbook, and her yearbook was from Hillsdale High School, 1960, and Dick Vermeil was the coach for the football team. And she would show me, see, Dick Vermeil, that was our coach, because he was the coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. So she was saying, oh, that used, he used to be our coach at high school. So she would show me the yearbook, and I started watching, the, I started watching them, and then it just, yeah, that's yeah. all that happened. Wow. So what? So what happened to them this year? Are they started out strong and then something? The, the year's not over, so if you read the script, they're going to come back and go into the Super Bowl again. But yeah, you'll you'll see that in a couple weeks. It could happen. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they have this weird thing about the Super Bowl logo, and the Super Bowl logo has like two colors in the numerals, and, and they've been those colors have been matching the teams in the Super Bowl the last two or three years, and this year. It's a purple color, like the like the uh, the Ravens, and it's a gold color, like the 49ers. So that's why they're saying if these guys go in the Super Bowl, this is like, yeah. I now I'm no football fan. I'm, I'm a diehard hockey fan. But is that also not the colors of the Minnesota Vikings? Yeah, but the Vikings aren't in the playoffs. Well, they didn't right? make the playoffs. They didn't make the playoffs. So they're out. They're out. Out. Okay. Yeah. Or as you right. call it, oot. They're oot. <laughs> <laughs> purple yeah. and gold also the key the color of the uh, los angeles kings i just wanted to note that as well <laughs> do you notice i'm sitting here looking completely dumbfounded not knowing what any of this is about yeah we can, ch we can change the subject no that's yeah. okay that's okay i have to if you you know i have to have to do this every now and then because uh it's very important in order that i keep my uh, sports emmy <laughs> I'm with you, Alex. Well, although, although I hear it's good for ratings, it's good for <laughs> ratings. Oh, okay. Oh boy. So, gee, my 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 camera keeps glitching on me. Hmm. You look fine over here. Hmm. Oh, you look fine over I know, here. I know it looks fine, but every now and then you'll see it glitch, and I can't figure out why. And I think it's something that has to do with. Uh, with Zoom, I think they must have changed something and it caused a glitch to get in there. I'm with my kind of camera. No, whatever. I don't. I don't care. Nothing works anymore. You know, so I've given up on everything. Technology. <laughs> so has Marjorie. Oh yeah. Right. Well, I mean, I I've that given works. up. I've given up. For instance, I've given doctor. up on you. I've given up on my doctor. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. When you you get a prescription from a doctor <clears throat> and they ask to renew it, they renew it, right? Yes, I'm in fine, thank you. You know. So that uh, that's a given. Well, I suddenly don't get a renewal on my medicines and I call my doctor and she calls me back and uh, not, she's not a female, it's not the doctor, but the person who's his assistant yeah. and says, well, the doctor isn't going to renew your prescriptions until you come see him. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, he's holding up my medicine <laughs> contingent on me seeing him. He's got to have an office visit. And <laughs> he hasn't, he ha didn't even, they didn't even call me to say, Hey, it's time for you to have a visit. If they did that, I'd go, okay, what day do you want to make it? And I'd go and let him stick his finger wherever he's going to stick it. <laughs> but it just it just made me so mad that he was like holding up my medicine so I would come and see him. That, that, that to me seems wrong. Suppose this is medicine that keeps me alive for crying yeah. out loud. 
Is he going to stop prescribing it to me just because I haven't come to see him? So I'm so I'm pissed off at my doctor. I'll see, I'm pissed off at my lawyer. Um, which I, who I don't want. I can't tell him I'm pissed off at him because if I tell him I'm pissed off at him, he might not do anything for me anymore. All right. So uh, I'm pissed off at my doctor, my lawyer. Who else am I pissed off at, Marjorie? I don't know, but I hope it's not me. And, no, I'm not pissed <laughs> off at you. I'm not pissed off at you. You haven't done it at this time today. Mm, uh, yes, today. Yeah. So is this is this a challenge here, Alex? For <laughs> well, for her to piss me off. Oh, she she knows how to. If I'll she take wants that to. challenge. <laughs> Show them what you do every morning when I want to lie in bed and you want to make the bed and you want to get me out of the bed. Just just do that little thing you do. What do I do every morning to get you out of bed so I can make the bed? Yeah, what do you do? I'm asking you. You, you, <laughs> you know. seem to know. What do you do with your hands? I don't know. She looks like a crab. She goes like this. Oh. Isn't that the international sign for a boob honk? <laughs> for a what? For a boob honk? I'm pretty sure that's the international sign for a for honking a boob. Honking a boob? Yeah, I think it's pretty sure that's we, what it is. We what? need we need a, a Canada and English translation translation. <laughs> I have no idea what he's what he's talking about. Neither do no I idea. Pull. Don't worry about it. Show, 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 show us what you mean, Mike. Oh, if 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 I do this to my wife, she goes running. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. What's oh, because it. you're going to go honk her boobs. There you go. There it is, right there. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dilla, how long have you been married to her? Uh, twelve years. Twelve years. Oh, you've been married to her only twelve years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is not your first marriage. This is not my first marriage. No. Oh. I got married when I was very young, and uh, a few years in, both of us kind of looked at each other because we had developed into two completely different people. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? Let's. Uh, Let's let bygones be bygones, and it was the simplest divorce ever. Really, and then this is your second. Correct. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I've been married four times. Marjorie is number four. Quattro. Marjorie's huh? number one to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. Um, Thank you. Is that what they say? You never forget your fourth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember my first, okay? <laughs> I, I'll tell you, my first, this is this was a story of my life, okay? This is the, the kind of luck I have. My first marriage, we got married because she got pregnant. And I wanted to do, do the right thing, right? <laughs> On our wedding night, she had a miscarriage. <laughs> That's the story of my life. Exit. You find that funny, dear? <laughs> Did you know that? I, I, I think you? I've heard it before, yeah. but it's always good to hear. It's yeah, funny. She had a miscarriage on our wedding night. Nothing better so than miscarriage humor on a Monday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Good miscarriage jokes. <laughs> Only of justice. <laughs> oh, boy. So but You anyway. married her. Hmm? You married her. I married her, and it didn't last very long. It was it was destined to fail, you know. Yeah. And then my second wife was Ronnie, and my third wife was Susan, and wife number four is... Uh, What's her name? Oh. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> Oh, Marjorie, that's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get any special uh, points for having married me and then suffering it? Have well, you I asked thought, you to marry you, me. Let me ask you, have you ever once in our marriage thought about divorcing me? Many times. What? <laughs> since, since noon? <laughs> No, have you ever thought about that? Like, I get to get out of this marriage? Come on. Yes. You did? Everybody you has. Yes. Really? I've of never course. thought about divorcing you. Oh, never once on. for one moment. 
Uh, yeah. well, and what's your answer to that one? Hello, Albert. We're having a family <laughs> argument here. Albert, right? you came at the right time. Yeah, a little family argument we're having. The kids oh. have to sit here through this, though. <laughs> Mom, Dad, don't fight. Yeah, fight. Right. Right. Hey, Albert, once they're done, we're all going for therapy, family therapy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Albert, how you doing, pal? I'm doing well. How's everybody here? Oh, we're doing fine, I guess. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Show New Year. Year. To say it. Yeah. What did you do anything on New Year at all? Yeah, I slept at 10 o'clock. <laughs> no, I don't know anybody. Maybe it's just my age and the general age of the people that I know. But nobody I know was awake at midnight except for me because I did a show at midnight. I tried to stay up for the show. 11 o'clock, I couldn't keep my eyes open. So I said good night. <laughs> oh, well. What was the show about? It was just, uh, you know, just like this. You know, only it was, it was New Year's and at midnight, we we all said Happy New Year. Um, that was it? People showed up. Yeah. That's worth staying up for. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll say the fact that <laughs> Taylor, Whit was, was Taylor Swift showed up for the show. And uh, who else was there? Uh, oh, yeah. Bruce Springsteen had decided to join in. I believe that Taylor Negron may have showed up for the show. <laughs> never, never Taylor Swift. It was actually Taylor Swift for the, the Taylor the, Negron uh, is dead. Well, even I believe that he would show up <laughs> instead of that over Taylor Swift. I had a, a party here. You were at my party, right? Yes. And who was here? Taylor Negron. Taylor Negron. Now and I asked you about it too. I mean, he's unmistakably Taylor Negron. I said, is that Taylor Negron over what there? What year was it? That was that was the year that we had our party, our big party here. When you first moved into the Grand Harlem estate. <laughs> when we first got married. Yeah. yeah. Now let me ask people here. See, here anybody know who Taylor Negron is? Nope. Comedian. <laughs> yeah. Actor. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You know him. Do you know him, Charlie? Yeah, I, I, he's been on TV and he's like he's a comedian. Yeah, I, yeah. But the rest of the people don't know who Taylor Negron is. No, no idea. Yeah, no idea. He was, on, he was on Seinfeld a couple of times. Yeah, yeah I definitely don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> She's never watched a single episode of Seinfeld. I have the ones that you've asked me to watch. And you watch them begrudgingly. You don't. No, I didn't. Maybe I'm really going didn't. to. Maybe I'm in for something good here. No, you. I I watch them lovingly. Who was he on Seinfeld? Eight years of it. What 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 did you say? Who is he? Who was he on Seinfeld? Eight years of it. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, trying to remember now. Was he one of the two guys who like uh, tried to uh, beat up uh, Kramer or something? No, no, no. What did he play on Seinfeld? He was, he was the hairdresser on the Smelly Guy episode. Oh, okay. The Smelly right. Smelly Car episode, sir. Smelly Car episode. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. There you go. The one who couldn't get her couldn't get the smell out of her out of their hair. Oh, oh out of her hair, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jerry buys a car, or, or no, somebody sit, he, he goes, sits in his car or something, and he gets a smell. Yeah. The valet. The valet. They and couldn't they, get the they, smell they, out of the car. And then he can't, he does everything he can to get rid of the smell in the car. And uh, there, there you know, Taylor that's Nick, man. Oh, the tall guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, that was it. Big episode. He was in lots of stuff. He was really yeah, cool. a lot of eighties, nineties movies, right? Yeah, very. He died in 2015, 16, something like no, that. No, it had to be later than that because he was. Oh no, he was here at our party. It was in two thousand. Hold on, I just pulled. I uh, he died January tenth, two thousand fifteen. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. But that but you you like that, right, uh, Albert? I mean, we had a guest star at our show at our party. Yeah, it was it was it was a great party. <laughs> It was a very nice party. Mm -hmm. I still have uh, do I have video of it. I don't know. I have photographs of it. Uh, but uh, we uh, we invited how many people did we invite, Marjorie? I don't remember. I think it was maybe fifty people or something like that. Well, wow. we catered it for a hundred. 
because it was like an all afternoon thing. Yeah. In fact, we're still eating the food that was left over. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, that was a <clears throat> that was a nice party. Very nice party. Yeah. It's the last big party we've held here, right? The only party we've had. No, we've done Thanksgivings here. Well, seven people don't count as a party. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they yeah, do. I, I would say seven people is a dinner party, is it not? Yeah. Seven people is a gathering. It's not a party. How many people do you think constitutes a dinner party then? Ten? Here, here's, here's another one she always gives me. Okay. Uh, well, we're not on vacation. We're on something else. You have something else that isn't vacation that we're on. Ho holiday? Holiday. Yeah. Okay. Marjorie tries to say, we're not on vacation. We're, this is a holiday. I said, then how come it's two weeks and costing me a hell of a lot of money? <laughs> and she says, no, it's just a, what's the difference between a holiday and a vacation, Marjorie? I have no idea. Well, you always say that it isn't a vacation. It's a holiday. <laughs> No, it's not a holiday. It's a vacation. I think I suddenly do want a divorce. <laughs> I think. <laughs> What's it like to host a hundred people for for a, a party? That's something I have never done. Well, they were in and out. You know what I mean? It's like you put all the food out, and people come and go all afternoon. Also, this place is so big; they could spread out throughout the it's entire. True, world. they were in the bedrooms. They were everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I invited a lot of people from Sirius XM. You know, there's some of those people here, and your friend came, and it was uh, it was a large. And then then and then there was Albert. Was Shecky there? What does that mean? She, oh yeah, she, was Shecky oh. here? Yeah, yeah, yeah Shecky was there. Yeah. Yeah. So was uh, what's what's the name of that listener? Tony. Huh? Tony, right. Yeah, Tony. Tony. Oh, oh, God. No, I'm sorry. For that. <laughs> sorry. Marjorie, Major. I put that out of her mind. He's <laughs> listening. He's listening. Be nice, you guys. But, but you see, I don't care if he's listening. You, you made it. But <laughs> you, you're the, I think you're the one on the air who invited Tony to my party. I Me? did not. I would never do that. And I would never do Weren't that. Weren't you the one that made a specification on why the only way he could come to the no, party? No, I said that if he came in a... Uh, in his pajamas. What, what the, the pajamas with the slippers on him, the, the feet pajamas. I yeah, said footy, if he came in that, he yeah. should be allowed to come. But he, but you invited him without the feet pajamas, so... The no, footy came pajamas. In his pajamas. It's on you now. It's on you, not me. <laughs> it's on me. You're because I, I had an out for you. He wouldn't have come with the feet pajamas. There's no way. But you said he could come anyway. So okay. but he was he was he was loving it and he was a good guy there. Yeah, no, he was, he was fine. You know. Tony no asked comment. Me, what? No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> well, I said. What do you have against Tony? I have nothing, and there's no comment, Alex. Why you have your lawyer with you or something? <laughs> yes. Pleading the fifth. Pleading the fifth. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, and you could have all come to my party. I would have had you if I known Burger by then. I would have invited him. I'm a messy eater. <laughs> I'm a messy eater. <laughs> Just took them off the list. Yeah. We'll get you a bib. Okay. Yeah. Did anybody watch the Golden Globes last night? Were they on? Was that not the worst thing you've ever seen in your life? Yeah. Yeah, we were. Oh well, we Cammy and I were watching it while in the back it was on in the background. And uh we we certainly made more than one comment. I wish Ricky Gervais were here. Mm. Well, it, it, more than that. Who was that comic? I never heard of him. Yeah, he, he's huge. He's pretty big right now. He's yeah. huge. He's pretty big right now. Yeah. Yes. But he made very little mark on the show. He was terrible. Uh, he was dating that uh, Chelsea Handler for just a yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's something I wouldn't admit to. Oh, <laughs> what's wrong with Chelsea? Maybe what's wrong with Chelsea? Chelsea Handler. <laughs> well, the people around her don't. 
<laughs> I've never heard anything good about Chelsea Handler from people who know her. You know, very difficult person. Um, who she was going with somebody who owned the network that gave her a show. Yeah. You know, yeah, the head of E. Hmm? The head of E, I believe. Yeah. Talk about sleeping your way to the top. <laughs> That's a time honored tradition, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I don't think you can do that anymore, can you? That's not considered right any longer. I think what she did was more considered scratching and clawing her way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't make any comment on that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So anyway, hello to uh, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Are you all, are you not so tired as you were? Because he's been everywhere. He, he's, a, he's the best father of all time. Mm -hmm. because his daughter was playing with the band at the Taco Bowl. What was it? The Fiesta Bowl? <laughs> Well, the Fiesta Bowl sounds like it should be sponsored by Taco Bell, right? <laughs> hey, have a, have this and have a Fiesta Bowl, you know. Sounds Taco Bell and Charmin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they give that out with each taco, uh, each festival. festival. Now, now that weed's Fiesta legal, aren't they having a, a smoke -a bowl coming up for one of the teams? What? Now that weed's legal, they're going to come up with a new bowl, the smoke -a bowl <laughs> It's going to be a big big football game. I'll go to that. <laughs> Scoring for the wrong team. It'll be fun to watch. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, so uh, anyway, it was just it was dull. It was just horrible, you know. And it, most people, it doesn't. I don't know why they always make a big deal about the Golden Globes, but it's just publicity, because the Golden Globes mean nothing. It used to be that it was a, uh, uh, what was it? How many people? The waiters. About the waiters. 90, Ninety-eight waiters in L.A. You know who also worked as journalists, but need to work as waiters in order to sub, you know, subsist on the something, and. Um, it was always horrible. It was a big sham. So what they did this year is they changed it. There are now 300 people who vote, who are, are journalists, they say. Hmm. And it's terrible. Just terrible. Didn't, just didn't I read, I read something, I think, this morning that, and I know nothing about these award shows, that they have a new award now in the Golden Globes based on how much money the movie's made. Yeah. yeah, the box so office. Barbie won that. The what do you need an award, award for that? Office. Yeah. It's you made the money. What do you need to give them a, an award for? The, award, the award is the billion dollars you made on Barbie. Exactly. Yeah. You need an award for that? Well, it, 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 what was it? What, what, the, the award was. I think it was the achievement at the, uh, at the box office. The Cinematic and box office achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sales. Uh, yeah, uh, how, how and how do you equate cinematic? Well, they see they're, they're there's glitch. a glitch. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Here, I think I can get rid of it by just going stop video. I'm pretty sure this means there was a change in the matrix. You're going to handle. Hmm. No, it, come on, stop, stop already. Alex headroom. Hell, um, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, I think that award was created because folks uh, watch the Oscars and they get upset that the movies that were popular never get really represented that well. Yeah. And so they're like, okay, well, let's put in something where the popular movies get some love too. You get to see those stars. It gets eyeballs on the product. I think yeah, that was the but, but popular movies usually don't have great amount of craft to them. You know, I mean, this year, I think Barbie was an exception to that rule. Mm -hmm. So was into the Spider Verse, huh? So too was into the Spider Verse, and that was yeah. nominated well in that category. Yeah. yeah, but isn't the point of the awards to go against popularity and and give the award for other features of the film? Well, it isn't supposed to be to go against popularity, but to go to go well, for those yeah. other things right. that are the film. 
I mean, you can have a, a picture like Barbie, which was extremely popular. I think it made $1.8 billion worldwide. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it happens to be a well-crafted, well-written, well-conceived film. You didn't, did you see it yet? Just uh, horrendous. I, I couldn't stand it. You really? I, I got 15 oh, wow. minutes and turned it off. Couldn't yeah, stand it. Too. And I watched the whole thing. I said, I okay, everybody's talking about it. I think it's one of the best films of the year. I think it could have been a piece of crap and she turned it into something else. You know, there's a lot of clever subtext in it. Yeah. But let me ask this. Like, when was the last time a very, like, an uber popular movie was the best picture? Forrest Gump? Was there one since Forrest Gump? That's the one I could think of. I don't know. Forrest Gump was a popular movie. I don't think it was a sensationally popular movie. Oh, no. That was a, that was a held over movie. Like that yeah. was back in the days where they were holding movies over at the bottom. The, but I think the there were movies that were really popular. I mean, that were really popular that also should have won an Academy Award. I mean, I, I believe the year that Star Wars came out, it was nominated for Best Picture. Yeah. And quite oh, frankly, I, I, you know, I don't know what won that year, but I felt it should have been Star Wars. What an original idea, you know? What a, what a well done motion picture. Yeah, and it raised the bar significantly as well. All the yeah. it won all the technical stuff, obviously. Yeah. Well, here, what, what? Let me let me just show you that, you know, this the the, the awards things never make sense to me, and the time it never made sense to me is, what was the, what was it, the seventies? What was named, at the end of the seventies, the best picture of the seventies. You know? No. Uh, Raging Bull. Oh. Mm -hmm. What won the Academy Award against Raging <laughs> Bull that year? Ordinary people. That's right. <laughs> Say it. Say it, Burger. That's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's of course, right. I love the ordinary people. That was the first movie I saw on uh, VHS. Well, it uh, was. Yeah, well, okay. I, I believe you. Uh, <laughs> Titanic is probably the best example of all the worlds con converging. And uh, somebody sent who's watching sent that to me. That was a cheat sheet. I didn't come up with that. But T Titanic was the biggest movie of all time, and it won Best Picture. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually, uh, pictures that make a lot of money don't win Academy Awards because they say, you got your award already, what Albert already said, you know. We don't need to give you an Academy Award, but I think Titanic was so well done. Yeah. They couldn't deny it. I don't know what was going up against it, you know. Probably ordinary people again. I don't <laughs> Hey, Mary Tyler Moore was great in there. Yeah, I'm sure she was. But Raging Bull was it was considered by most people to be one of the greatest films ever made. Yeah. And most people forget ordinary people. And uh, they forget that the director that year won for best director. Yep. Who was it? That's Redford, isn't it? Ordinary People? Yep. 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 Right. Robert Redford. Like, yeah. Yeah. And yet, has, uh, has Scorsese ever won an Academy Award for best director? He got nominated a bunch. Gangs of New York. Yes. Did he win yeah. for Gangs of New York? Yeah. But I, I, has, he, has he ever won? I, I can't say that he has, but Robert Redford has, you know, so. anyway, call me bitter. All right. I'll call me. You know. <laughs> You're bitter. He won a bunch. Call, call me late for dinner. Yeah. He won for the departed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he did win for the departed. Yeah. Right. That year departed cleaned up. That's right. Yeah. Not one of his better movies, by the way, you know, um, Maybe it has something to do with the, the 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 awards being put on television and being made this big commercial thing. Yeah. The well, the, it doesn't it doesn't seem to have much to do because it, it, it's you know it's it's not the quality of the movie a lot of times, right? Well, it should be. I mean, it should be based. Sure, it upon, should be. You know, it should be based on craft. You know, when people say, "What's the best movie?" You've got to say, well, you got to take all these different things into consideration, you know, camera work, all of that, all those things converge into making a great film. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's also, I was thinking the other day that I would like to start a whole new awards thing 
And what it would be called is the genre awards. In other words, you go, you know, best science fiction film, best musical, best comedy. Because how do you compare these films against each other? How do you mm -hmm. You're making the case for the Golden Globes right now, by the way. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, the Golden oh. Globes does that. Yeah. No, they it's don't do it. Them out. But, but no, they're not genre. Not by well, genre. Drama versus comedy musical, they are. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. The, the Academy Awards have never done that. And they should. Yeah. I mean, sure. to a certain extent. But also, I mean, how do you compare a science fiction film with a musical? You can't. <laughs> you know, which one was better? In doing what? You yeah. know? So, would, would Inception be considered a sci-fi movie? What? Would Inception be considered a sci-fi movie? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was nominated for Best Picture, right? Was it? I think so. By the way, I know it won a buttload of Oscars for sure. Yeah. Um, I think Chris Nolan is the is the shining example of the guy today whose team puts together everything that you talked about just now. The story to the to the cinematography to the music to the yeah. his movies I think are probably the best in the world. Well, did I tell you well, did I tell you the other day that I I went back and rewatched Oppenheimer here at home, mm -hmm. and I didn't think a hell of a lot of it in the theater. You know, but when I sat here and watched it at home, I really enjoyed it. And I suddenly realized the reason was we watched it in IMAX. Yeah. I hate IMAX. It's just so overwhelming mm -hmm. that it overwhelms the material. Yeah. And to go home and watch it at home and be able to sit back and watch the material, I suddenly realized this is a really good picture. Well, mm -hmm. you know, right, Marjorie? It was a much mm -hmm. agreed too. We thought mm -hmm. it was a much better movie sitting mm -hmm. at home watching yeah. it. By yes. Way, Scor Scorsese I, departed. Departed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yes, Jeff. I watched them twice, just, but they're both at home, okay? Not on the, uh, at the big uh, place. Yeah. So, anyway, the first one was tough. It's just a, I don't know. It's just, it's something that everybody kind of knows a little bit about him, but don't really know much about him as, as a personal. You know, Oppenheimer? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah but what I ended up doing, I ended up reading more about him from other people's presentations on, on his show and about his life. And he's an interesting character, his family, his parents, you know, and all that stuff. And, how they came to uh, how they came he came to Germany and all that stuff, which but does everybody know that he really um, went to school after he graduated to go to school in Germany, and he was working on a nuclear bomb stuff yeah. with wow. the Germans, and I don't know if that really showed in the movie. No, that didn't even come up in the movie. No, and that's. Holy crap. He was working on this project as a kid. Well, you know what? I was delighted with the, with the uh, um, what do you call it? The Golden Globes last night was to look at uh, Cooper. What's his name? Um, the guy did Ber 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 Bernstein. Did Bradley he? Cooper. Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper. Oh yeah, is to look at the look on Bradley Cooper's face every time he didn't win for something, <laughs> because I'm sure he felt he was a shoe in, mm -hmm. because they went out and they campaigned for that movie like crazy, you know, and I often said, you know, I nobody goes away from a movie uh, whistling the makeup. And, <laughs> you know, that's essentially what was going on there. I mean, it just the makeup, everyone, he was so good. Well, what was good? It was the makeup, actually. Uh, you disagree with that, Paul, right? You liked the movie. Yeah, I did. I, you know, I, I thought they, they left a lot of interesting stuff out um, uh, about the, what, what he created and West Side Story <laughs> and, and the Broadway stuff and, and um and the, the children shows that he did i mean i was a fan of his when i when i was a kid uh, Me too. Uh, of the uh, and i it was an, i thought it was an interesting movie 
Well, he did but, the. He did but but they, um, they, they, they kind of like picked and chose. I would have added different stuff. I think they, they, he did these things called the uh, um, what was it? The uh, young people's concerts. Yeah, and, and he, he was he was that. inspirational. He was. And like, I, I grew the up most watching. amazing teacher. I grew up watching those that. and just being mesmerized by them, and they didn't even, you know, make. I tell you what, I did. What I did do was I went to to uh, to uh, YouTube videos and and, uh, and pulled up some of the stuff that he where he uh, taught uh, uh, shows on television, and I learned a whole bunch of stuff about orchestras and what a conductor does, and I was I. Hmm. It's a shame that they didn't really kind of like um, emphasize that a little bit more. They mm. they didn't emphasize the the major things in his life. I mean, West Side Story barely exists in this, thing. and that was a major achievement. Yeah, uh, sure was. Um, but uh, it, it it's a hell of a you know I did I was I was disappointed in the movie. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> so we we this weekend. I finally decided where was my copy of this, and I went looking for it, and I found a copy I had of the Cotton Club. Now, are you familiar with that? The uh, Francis Ford Coppola picture uh, about the Cotton Club here in New York, hmm. and this was a remastered version, which he added twenty minutes to it, to, and really made it a much better picture. Yeah, uh, and. Uh, we liked it. You you enjoyed it, right, Marjorie? Yeah, very much. But after it was over, I told Marjorie that, you know, there have been a lot of negative things about the making of that film, like what was referred to as the Cotton Club murder, in which this person, Roy Radin, who was helping to finance the movie, was murdered. And uh, Evans, uh, what's his first name? Uh Bob Evans? Bob, yeah. Bob, yeah, Bob Evans. Yeah. Uh, was a major suspect in the plot to kill Ray Raid. Ray Raid. What? Yeah. And all the stuff that went on around it, in the end, he was cleared because one of the people who did the killing uh, said, no, he had nothing to do with it. Um, but it's a, it's a sensational thing. We went back and looked about all the things about the murder. And what went on with the murder? I was looking it up on um, YouTube. Behind the movie. <laughs> Wikipedia, Wikipedia. Yeah, it's an incredible story. What's it? What was the address of the Cotton Club? It's your neighborhood, right? It was yeah, 125th I, Street. It was 125th. Yeah, what? that's walking and, distance. And Lenox Avenue. It's not there anymore. And Lenox Avenue. Yeah, it's by the. Yeah, around there. It it's wasn't. The it wasn't on 125th, was it? Yes, it was. It was. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So but I'm not sure the cross streets. Yeah. Um, but uh, I never went. Huh? I never went there. I don't think we were alive when. when yeah. When was it big? It was big in the twenties. Twenties, right? Or was it fifties? I think it was gone by the fifties. Yeah. No, it was gone. It was here when I first came to New York. No, no, no. There's, always, no the there's always been a place called the Cotton Club, but that's not the original Cotton Club, and that's not a, the, uh -huh. the a, a relative of the original Cotton Club. Where is Brian going to pick his daughter up at school? I bet you, right? Yeah, I'll be leaving in five to do the same. <laughs> uh, but it's not your kids you're picking up, it's your granddaughter. My granddaughter. My mm. granddaughter that I'm taking to mixed martial arts. You don't have a granddaughter. Oh, yes, you're so yes, he does. Yeah, really? that's her. That's her right there. There she is. There she is. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, mm. she sure is. Yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, Alex, I have a, I have a, um, an Alex Bennett type complaint that I think could save the movie industry, and I've wanted, I've been wanting to, to, uh, an to Alex run it by Bennett you. type complaint. Yes. <laughs> What it's, exactly it's is it? Would you please, before you go any further, explain an Alex Bennett type complaint. Well, it's where you take uh, it's like the Seinfeld thing, but instead of finding the humor in it, you find the uh, you know this is how things could be better in it. I think. Oh, okay. And um, and it has to do with motion pictures. I think what could save motion pictures is the awards that we're talking about. 
I don't think um, movies that don't get a theatrical run should be nominated for Oscars. I think they should be nominated for Emmys like TV Movies of the Week back in the day. And if Netflix and these other streaming studios want to be in contention for an Oscar, they have to do a theatrical run, which would help the movie houses. I disagree. Well, All right. I don't. I don't believe in, in saving the movie houses. I agree. I think that. movie houses have done nothing to keep themselves in play. Well, I really want to see Ghostbusters this winter in the movie theater. I really, really would like to see that. I think I think movie theaters have run their gamut. I think they No. Yes. no. <laughs> if the right I'm sitting in a movie theater, it's not the same. I, agree, as I know I agree with her and I love movies and I love nothing better than But how often do we theater. go, Alex? But well, we don't have to. Well, that's we, it. We've got a, we've got a 65-inch screen that's close to the bed, so it's like the same takes up the same field of view that a theater screen would take. Okay. No question. Huh? And no I have, we, we have uh, the surround sound and all of that. Put her on pause when you'd want to take a break. And there's nobody kicking the back of your seat. But there's it's something that, that the floors aren't sticky. If you don't have an audience. Well, you don't know if it's sticky, Kevin. Exactly. Oh, that that's true. Uh, it's a different. Well, take that one back. It, 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 there is something to be said about enjoying <laughs> a movie with an audience. Yeah. But I don't think the audience understands that anymore. Because they go into a theater and then they get on their cell phone. <laughs> Not before you the been to a starts, Tay -Tay. while the movie's on. What? You haven't been to a Tay Tay movie, though. They all sing. What's a Tay Tay, oh, God. What's a Tay, -Tay movie? <laughs> Figure it out, Alex. Come on. Taylor Tay Tay Swift. movie? Tay Tay movie. The I don't... Taylor Swift movie. Oh, oh they, all oh. they do is sing during the whole damn thing. Tay Tay? <laughs> You call it a Tay Tay yeah. movie? A Tay Tay movie. Yeah. How do you like Tay Tay Satas? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Back to Mike's funking. But you know what? I'm not into her music, but I think Kev brings up a really good point. That's another thing that could save the movie industry is having communal experiences like that. Yeah. Um, I totally, yeah, but, totally. But what you're doing though is you're redefining the movie theater. You know that uh, you've got to have you've got to have some kind of concert going on. No, I mean I think. Black and white to color and 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 uh, silent movies to talkies did the same thing. I think. I don't, know, think this, I don't think I don't think this is in the same category. I think this is in the category that, given time, most things become obsolete. Yeah, could be. And the theater <laughs> as a me method of showing films is absolutely. You know, I, in fact, I like the fact that we do have Netflix and we do have Hulu and we do have things like that. Because people who do independent films that never usually got any kind of uh, real juice from from the public, again, get to be seen. And you got to realize that when they see them on something like Netflix, you can probably get to a larger audience than you would ever get by showing it in a theater. Yeah. Sure. Yep, that makes, that makes sense. And uh, isn't, isn't the content of what it is the most important thing? You know? That being said, my my original contention, though, should a movie that has just gone onto a streaming service and not had a theatrical run be applicable for an Oscar? Yes. Yes. Okay. Basically, because what is it? It's a, a motion, movie. It's a motion. It's an movie. Emmy for the TV movie of the week. No, but it's a motion. Like they used to give no, out. No, it's but an no. Emmy. It's not an Oscar. It's an Emmy. No, but the it's fact is that, that something like Netflix has become a new form of distribution of a movie. Yes, yes, and that's why it should be considered. I mean, if it's if it's episodic, if it's got like six episodes, no, it's not a movie. It's a TV show. Do they still do made-for-TV movies on the network? They don't, and that's yeah. that's the do. thing. I mean, they still mm -hmm. do made -for -TV movies, and that might be. In, the, in uh, fact, like, did you, to me, are the new made-for-TV yeah. movies? Did Did you notice in the uh, in the um, um, Golden Globes last night? There were no networks represented <laughs> in any of the in any of the nominations. Yeah. No networks. None of the network shows. No, I think you're right. You know, so I mean the whole thing is everything's changed. And as time goes on, that's what happens. Things become obsolete, they're replaced by other things. And uh, right now what's happened is the latest major form of distribution for a film is on uh on uh, uh, what do you call it? on 
on the uh, uh, these what... streaming services. Well, I don't understand how uh, 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 just because there's a, something new that somehow something that that used to work is obsolete. I mean, you know, like they talked about the theater is dead and maybe the theater will be dead, but I sure as hell hope not because there's nothing to replace live theater. Well, live theater is a different thing. Yeah, that's you know, I think I think Broadway will continue to exist because it's very unique in and of itself and cannot be replaced by anything else. Uh, CD, but, CDs and DVDs are obsolete. The only people that have them are Charlie and Alex now. What do you <laughs> think? <laughs> Albert, what do you think? Hey, Tony. I mean, specifically <laughs> about what? About, about the theater. In, about uh, the theater? theater? I ditched that years ago. <laughs> Maybe a decade ago. Who cares about the theater? I agree. It doesn't matter. Agree. Especially with 75-inch TV for five under $500? Yeah. There's no, there's no way you'd go to the movies for what? Right. For what? And it's 4k too. Let's add yeah. that to the, for what? as yeah. far as awards, I don't care for any one of them. Oh, and by I, the way, by the way, when you go to those movie theaters now and they are shown digitally, there used to be a time when they wouldn't show movies digitally. And then all of a sudden now everybody has to have a digital projector. They don't have any film that's existent in the, in the, in the theater thing is that when they did that, uh, the whole name of the game changed, you know, because uh, they went to digital. And what you get in a movie theater is, ready for this? 4K. So why shouldn't you sit at home with a big screen, see the same movie in 4K? You're not missing anything. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, like I said, I think the communal experience, there's something to be said for that, but. I mean, I, I hear where you're coming from. I mean, I, you know, I understand, but invite, there are movies. Invite they some the friends theater, over. I'm excited to go to the theater to see them. Yeah. Communal experience. I got to go. When, when the cell phone came oh, out. Oh, you got to go? But, yeah. but, the communal, go but the communal uh -huh. experience is, is being embraced by oh the streaming services because now they have this watch with everybody else. Yeah. There. That's and right. then you're on your cell phone texting each other. Did you see that? That's great. <laughs> it's essentially the same thing, but uh nobody's talking during the thing so mm -hmm. maybe even better i they, don't know they even have a thing and i can't i've never done it but you can go to some place like uh i think amazon or i don't netflix doesn't do it i think disney does it where you can watch movies with other people yeah. who are watching them somewhere else oh. and can communicate yeah, that's, with each that's other. what i just said that's yeah. what i just yeah. said oh i thought you were saying watch together or whatever you were called. saying texting this is an actual physical thing you can do with the no, you, you can set up a watch party yeah that's, that's, watch party. that's, that's what it is charlie yeah. watch party yes i've tried right. but i can't get the guy at the movie theater to pause the movie so i can go to the bathroom either <laughs> <laughs> they just look at me i hate to say it guys i gotta go peace and love okay Bye -bye. that's the other problem see you later uh uh, uh now what uh, where do the balloons come from <laughs> <laughs> she got I you, did that. Huh? I did that. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I'm sorry. I, did you move your fingers a certain way and then it did it? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There she goes. <laughs> I didn't realize I could do that. that. It is gonna go, y'all. I need a lot. Okay, now that everybody knows how to do uh, look yeah. at this card I got. <laughs> we'll, we'll look at oh. what's happening there with uh uh, Someone sent a check to me, and they did this. Oh, what? that's nice. What? They sent me a cute little card. Someone sent me a check, and they for my work, and they but they put it in this kind of card. Thanks. They sent you, gave you a check. Thanks for letting me pay you. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. They sent you a check. What company yeah. sends yeah. checks now? I know. Was it like a, a new New Year bonus or something? No, it's it was a payment for like we have commercial buildings and this is this little guy who rents a little space from us in one of our commercial buildings. So he sends me a check. <laughs> but I just thought it was cute how he put it in his little card. It says oh, thanks. And then then you got the balloons going. That's yeah. <laughs> I was saying peace out to Mike who was leaving. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it, it, I guess you go like that, right? I don't have mine set up right now, so we'll do that. I didn't realize I could do it. 
See, I have to. I have to go here, and then I. Have there goes Marjorie. Here. Marjorie's doing it. Marjorie yeah. doing it. Marjorie, oh, confetti, cool. confetti comes down yeah. for her. Oh, it's confetti. That's cute. Yeah, yeah. I got confetti. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Wait a minute. <laughs> God, God, it's, not, it's not working for me. So. <laughs> Mine's not working either. Here, I can. I can just do this. Okay. Why are people making these strange gestures? <laughs> because those are gestures that that make it work. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh Lord! <laughs> oh. Now that's terrible. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> we had blood spurting. Um. Yeah. No. It's, it's storming right mm -hmm. now. Mm, yeah. But anyway. yeah, we had some snow here this weekend. Sure did. Too. Well, you did you have a lot up there, Jeff? Yes. Yes. Because we didn't have any. I mean, in the land, the, the the street was too warm for this time of the year. Yeah, this is normal. Yeah. I mean, this is New York. New York. Yeah, to be in New York. Yeah, you remember this, Albert? New York. He, he used to get giant snowstorms, right? Yeah, yeah I miss that like crazy. <laughs> No, but you remember. I, it, I just loved you? shoveling the snow. Yeah, and, but don't you remember that? That hasn't yes, been that way for years now in New York. We well, don't get those back. kind of snowstorms anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. You know, just uh, terrible. Terrible. Um, so what do you do? You're waiting at school now, Brian, for the kid to come out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I I had to take a break because I've been been watching uh ninety day fiance. What's ninety day fiance? Okay, so okay, so so first I started watching Catfish. Catfish, I started watching that show, and then my friends who are girls said, "No, you got to watch ninety day fiance." So I started watching. That's got like ten episode, ten seasons. Oh my god! But it's pretty. It's pretty funny. Wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Where is ninety day fiance? What it? What yeah, is, you know the 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 K, What is that, Mandy? Is the K K one visa or something? They do. You're asking me. Yeah, because you were <laughs> laughing, so I thought you watch it too. <laughs> they they do. No, that. I was they laughing do. because I was just like, good for you to watch some you know, <laughs> crazy reality show like I do. So, <laughs> but that's definitely more. Oh, and I watch below deck. Day. I watch below deck Mediterranean. Yeah. I watched that, but it's like a little break right now, so I got to pick up something. Yeah. But yeah. what I was saying was that um, 90 Day Fiance is a little, it's a little better or more up to date than Catfish. Catfish is kind of into yeah. old school stuff. Catfish was yeah. people catfishing people. Right. Saying, yeah. they somebody, saying they were somebody they really weren't. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so it's pretty funny. But yeah. 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 Marjorie, well, a couple of good TV shows we're going to have to watch tonight. Yeah. Catfish and 90 Day Fiance. There's a show yeah. on Hulu that's good. You guys probably already watched it. Black Cake. No. No. You didn't watch that? No. It's pretty good. What What's it about? Black Cake, I guess. Well, that's it's just a, that's part of the story. But it was an Oprah, I guess she produced it, maybe. And it's based on a novel. Gee, gee Oprah backed a show called Black Cake. What a surprise. <laughs> Okay, if you don't want to watch a show back by Oprah, then don't uh, watch it. Well, yeah, yeah, she's lost a lot of weight. Oh, has she? Sure. She's doing uh, Ozempic. Yeah. I thought oh, really? black cake was keto cake. It's just like a, a story about a Caribbean woman that like has this mysterious past, and she passes away, and she leaves these voice recordings oh, for her kids. Oh, this is a drama. It's a drama. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty good. All right. Black cake. It's on know. Hulu. Yeah. So anyway, how's everything down in Florida there, uh, uh, Albert? As crazy as it always is, you know, just yeah. politics, people. You like it. You like red it. Red lights. You like it down there, right? No, not really. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, there's nothing special about it. Yeah. I'd rather be, I'd rather be, you know, in New York, but they're charging me up the butt for taxes and uh, like you said, the weather used to be crappy. And so that that drove me out. Yeah. But there's nothing special down here. Who cares? 
Yeah. And and uh, and I I read the other day that uh, Sean Hannity just moved down here permanently. Oh, so, God. No. How did that make it any better? Oh, no. <laughs> well, he's got to be he's got to be near his butt buddy. I guess. Uh, Donald. Yeah. 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 Other than that, nothing going on down here. Well, anyway, and everything's fine in Cleveland. Uh, yeah. Oh, she's in Akron. I'm in Cleveland. Paula? I'm not in Cleveland. Andrew's in Cleveland. In Cleveland. So what am I saying? Yeah, but I have, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Th things are okay here. Wait a minute. You're we got where? a little snow. You're, you're in where again? Akron. Akron. Okay. How could you have forgotten that? I don't know. Goodness. You know. Akron, the center of the universe. I'm, I'm, lo I'm losing it. What can I say? You know? Pretty soon, this whole hour is just going to be me, me going. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we got to right. go. Yeah. Hey, right. listen, uh, we've run out of time. And I don't mm -hmm. want to keep you people any longer than I have to. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much, uh, Paula. We appreciate it. And Happy always a pleasure having you here. It's terrific. Charlie, mm -hmm. go Cowboys. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> Charlene, thank you for being with us. Marjorie, have a nice dinner. Uh, 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 of, of course, Mandy, mm -hmm. love your new desk. We love your new desk. <laughs> I do. I like it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff, good talking to you. Albert, got to talk soon, just off the air here and just hang out a little bit. And of course, uh, go um, Patriots, right, Brian? Eagle. Eagles, excuse me. <laughs> what does he know from sports? Hey, At least he I got have a an Emmy. Team. I'll have you know I have a sports Emmy, okay? <laughs> what genre is it in? <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we will say goodbye to all of you. The immortal words of Edward Berger, who says... That's all, folks. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. See you next week. Bye.